वेलकम बैक टू आर एजुकेशनल सीरीज ऑन इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग इन टूडेज एपिसोड वी आर गोइंग टू एक्सप्लोर एन इम्पोर्टेंट कम्पोनेंट ऑफ पावर सिस्टम आइसोलेटर्स स्पेसिफिकली वी विल डिस्कस थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ आइसोलेटर्स वर्टिकल ब्रेक ओरिजोंटल ब्रेक एंड पेंटोग्राफ टाइप Join me as we dive into the functionality, applications and characteristics of these isolators. Let's begin with the vertical brake isolator. This type of isolator is commonly used in electrical substations and switchyards. It consists of a vertical rotating blade that moves in a vertical plane. Here are some key points about vertical brake isolators. First, operation the vertical brake isolator operates by vertically braking the circuit when it is open the rotating blade moves up or down to create an air gap between the contacts ensuring isolation and interruption of the current flow talking about its applications vertical brake isolators are primarily used for isolating sections of the electrical system for maintenance or repairs They provide a visible gap that allows workers to visually verify the isolation of the equipment. Advantages: The vertical brake isolator offers easy access for maintenance and inspection due to its vertical blade movement. It also provides good mechanical stability and is suitable for both indoor and outdoor installations. Now, let's move on to the horizontal brake isolator. This type of isolator operates by horizontally braking the circuit providing additional flexibility in certain applications. Here are some key points about horizontal brake isolators. Operation: The horizontal brake isolator features a rotating blade that moves in a horizontal plane to create an air gap between the contacts when opened. This horizontal movement allows for easier integration with other equipment in the substation. Moving on to its applications, horizontal brake isolators are commonly used in outdoor substations and switchyards. They are suitable for installations where space is limited or specific arrangement requirements exist. Advantages Horizontal brake isolators offer enhanced mechanical stability and improved performance in areas with high wind loads. They are also well suited for integration with other substation equipment such as circuit breakers and transformers. Lastly, let's explore the pantograph type isolator. This unique design offers versatility that is It is adapted to do many things and compactness making it a popular choice in modern electrical substations. The pantograph isolator derives its name from its resemblance to a pantograph mechanism. It consists of multiple linkages that allow for both vertical and horizontal movement creating a flexible and efficient isolating mechanism. Here are some key points about pantograph isolators. Operation: The pantograph isolator's design allows for efficient opening and closing of the isolator, providing reliable isolation and operation. The multiple linkages enable smooth vertical and horizontal movement, ensuring a secure disconnection of the circuit. Next is applications Pantograph isolators are commonly used in indoor substations and switchyards especially in locations where space optimization is crucial. They are also preferred in high voltage installations due to their compact design and efficient use of available space. Looking at the advantages, pantograph isolators offer a combination of vertical and horizontal movement. providing flexibility in various applications their compact size allows for efficient space utilization within substations while maintaining reliable performance additionally the pantograph design enables easy integration with other substation equipment by understanding the characteristics and applications of these isolators electrical engineers can make informed decisions 
when designing and implementing power systems, ensuring efficient and reliable operation. And there you have it, a comprehensive overview of three types of isolators, vertical brake, horizontal brake, and pantograph type. Each type offers unique features and advantages, catering to specific requirements in electrical substations and switchyards. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Stay tuned for more exciting topics on electrical engineering. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep innovating.